Okay, here's how to do a very simple oil change on a Scott steering stabilizer. Um, the tools you need are 2.5 millimeter Allen, some oil, which is a very light uh, suspension fluid, a two or a three weight, and a pointed bottle. And I also like to have a clear container so I can check the condition of the oil when I pull it out of the damper. Now, what I'm doing is I'm removing the two small bleed screws with the 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench. They have an O-ring on them. You want to be careful with that. So I just take those two out and then I turn the damper upside down and then I run it through its stroke. If you do this often enough, it's just like changing the oil inside your motor. You don't need to go inside of it and do any sort of repairs. But that oil looks pretty good. You just like swing the, the vein you know, run the damper through its stroke a few times to get most of the oil out. Most of it's out there. I leave it over, cocked over to one side, push down. I take the oil bottle with the tip. I put it into the lower hole, and then I force the oil into the damper, and that'll fill up the chamber. There's only a few ounces of oil in there, and I slowly let it fill back up, and then you'll see it bleed out of the top hole. There we go. And that's going to bleed most of the bubbles out. And you can kind of change the angle a little bit and then slowly bring it back down to level. And that will get almost all of the air out. With this bottle it's a nice tight fit so I can take it and you know purge it a little bit, kind of force a little extra oil through there. Get most of the bubbles out. You know, change slightly helps. That's most of it. So the damper is for the most part full. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the set screws back in. And then snug them back down. I usually do this with the damper set in the lightest position because it makes it easier to swing the vein back and forth. So I've got them set in there. And now I'm going to give it a check. All the way opened up. Run it through its stroke. And what you can do is change the angle around and that'll make sure the oil is running through all the different passages inside there. And you can hear or feel if there's any additional air. So I'm going to do that a lot, check it all the way out, and then I'm going to swing it, put it in the middle, open up the higher of the two bleed holes, open it up, and it's okay if there's a just like a small one bubble of air inside of there because that allows for expansion. Because there isn't really a reservoir in this system. So the, the bleed is up at the highest part. Checking to make sure there's no air coming out. I'll run it all the way to the very end. And that's where most you're going to get most of your bubbles. So just back and forth there a little bit. Go for one more complete stroke through at the end. Pretty happy that there's no air in there. Put the screw back in. Check to make sure they're snug. All good. It'll wipe down, and then one final check to make sure it's all good. You could do this a couple times and flush it, and then you'd have a really clean, fresh steering damper. And that's all it really takes.